Wednesday, November 30th. Uh, just getting ready to leave the house here. I uh, got a couple stands I'm gonna tear down today and I'm gonna go scout some public pieces here. Uh, this is pretty much a start to my late season here in Iowa. Kind of searching on Onyx, been, been checking out a handful of public spots on there that I wanna focus on. And we're just gonna put boots on the ground today and uh, kind of a process elimination of some of these areas I'm, I'm thinking about focusing on for late season. Might have uh, something going on here too. We got a private farm that uh, sounds like we're gonna be able to hunt to the remainder of this season. Uh, gonna try and get some cameras out on that, maybe a ground blind uh, for the late season months for us to hunt out of too. Uh, so something exciting to look forward to. Hopefully something will show up on there. It's cold out today. We're gonna get these stands taken down and uh, put away for, for the year for the most part and then we'll be pretty much full blown late season mode from here on out. Just got stands all tore down here. Uh, we're gonna be heading heading east now. We got about an hour drive. I got a few spots over there I wanna check out for late season. Uh, I think there'll be some standing crops on. It's about 10.30 now. Um, we should be able to find something here. We've got high hopes. All right, well, just got to a third piece of public here, scouting. Basically what I'm doing, got a handful of spots picked out on Onyx. Uh, a lot of these places I haven't been to, but just looked at aerial photos and found some spots that look like they'd have food on them. Just trying to locate some late season food sources right now on some of these public pieces. But today, really haven't had much luck. A lot of the stuff we've been going to is uh, fields, fields that haven't been planted or they're just fields of grass. Uh, so just a process of elimination here, but we're gonna find something eventually worth hunting. First, second, Third. We might just take her a couple clicks, right? Shoot one more and I think we might be all right. I think we're good. Took about five shots, got her pretty well sighted in. And head over to the, uh, one of the properties we just got permission to hunt. Gonna check that out, put a blind out for the muzzleloader season in a couple weeks. I put a camera out there a couple weeks ago and guy showed me the property and had one decent buck on there so far but we're gonna get a couple more cameras I'll get that blind out uh, set up where we want it and should be in good shape we just got the blind set up here to the west on the neighbors it's this very thick bedding well, we got alfalfa field here and we got some egg fields kind of off behind us. And there's definitely deer here. We've got a couple pictures of some solid bucks here out in this alfalfa field. And we just need one of them to mess up with the muzzleloader. We're just getting ready to head out here. First day of muzzleloader for me. A couple days after Christmas. And uh, unfortunately the piece, the private piece that I got permission to hunt, really haven't had much on camera. We had some good bucks on, on the property right away. Um, since the storm, seems like the deer kind of just moved out of there. This morning we had a pic couple pictures of the deer, so it looks like they're starting to move back now that it's warming up. But we're gonna hunt some public here probably the next few days is the, is the plan. before three o'clock here. We just got set up. Um, we're not really exactly where I was hoping to get to. We came in here and uh, I wanted to get closer to the corn, but unfortunately it looked like kind of where a lot of these deer were coming out through here. It would have put us kind of at risk for getting, getting, uh, getting busted. We're about 150 yards off this corn. We're covering this narrow strip of timber that leads right off to the corner of the west of us here. We're banking on this tonight. Um, it's 
actually not that bad out it's clear skies sun's beating on us right now winds pretty calm right now too hopefully it stays like this the rest of the night Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. We we're literally getting ready to pack up. We had like a minute left of light and all of a sudden these doors started piling through so I quick, quick got ready here. Sure enough, I'm pretty sure that's the buck that came through here last night come right through at 25 yards. I stopped him. He almost got past me. Well, I'm pretty sure I put a good shot on him. I seen him run up to the edge of the corn. That was the last I see him. So, he looked pretty good. Well, it's December 27th here in Iowa. It's actually my first day of muzzleloader hunting here. Um, we had some pretty cold weather come through last week and just wasn't able to get out, didn't have anyone down here to film. All the guys were up in North Dakota hunting. Um, so decided to kind of wait till after Christmas. Brennan came, came here uh, to the house midday and we, uh, we headed out here on a piece of public this afternoon. I put some cameras out here a few weeks ago and uh, had been getting some pretty solid bucks on camera. This is actually, I thought this was uh, one of the other tens we had on camera, but this is a totally different deer. I don't know if I have pictures of him, I'd have to look back. He come through right at last minute of light, uh, just, as, just about as we were getting ready to pack up and was still able to make a shot. He was only at about 25, 30 yards. <laughs> Nice easy shot on him. Uh, had to kind of freehand it. We had a bunch of deer come through right at the last minute, and it was a little bit of tense, tense moment there for for a second in the tree. But was able to make it happen, and we got an awesome buck on the ground. We had originally had plans of 
uh, got per got permission on a on a new piece of ground here uh, about a month ago, and I've been running cameras. I actually put a blind out there a few weeks back with the guys, and uh, had a couple good bucks on the on the property. But when we had this snowstorm come through, uh, my camera is kind of shut down there, so pretty much was stuck to hunting public all late season. I uh, had a few spots in mind here, and this was probably one of my top spots we we're going to focus on here. And as luck would have it, good Lord blessed us tonight with an awesome Iowa buck. And this is just a cap to another great season. The last couple of years have been pretty blessed. I've been able to shoot a, shoot a handful of really good bucks uh, between Iowa, Wisconsin, North Dakota. Uh, it's been a hell of a year for the crew just a great way to end season 10 for us. Um, we're gonna get this deer out of here and we're gonna do some celebrating first. I'm getting too old for this. Gonna need a side-by-side -side soon. Well, our 2022 seasons come to an end now. We had a hell of a year. Uh, just out on the new permission property that that we just got on here in November uh, and just gonna try and get some inventory here in the off season maybe see if we can find some sheds here in the springtime out just putting a little bit of corn out some corn coat here from Premier Deer and uh, we're gonna just kind of keep tabs on these deer throughout the winter time and see what shows up here and then we'll have a little bit of an inventory on this farm as far as what kind of bucks are hanging around for next season, but we're excited. This new piece of ground, uh, it, it doesn't look like much from the from the sky, but I think it's gonna be a pretty solid spot here come early season, and especially if we can get some food plots in here uh, in the summer. I think we'll have a decent chance at, at getting an opportunity at a buck next year, but uh, we're just gonna just feed these deer throughout the winter here, uh, and hopefully it'll be a little bit easier of a winter on them, and then, uh, hopefully pick up some sheds here in the next couple months.